The fourth and final assignment in uh, the course is the uh, course outline, uh, or often referred to as a course syllabus. Now, depending on what you've done, whether it's a workshop or a course, and depending on if whether you are in a formal institution like VCC or BCIT or, or other organization, um, you might have a designated course outline or a syllabus template that you need to use, and that's great. Um, this is one another area of the course where the document you create is going to be dependent upon the course that you've built and your circumstances, and so there's a great de degree of flexibility within this assignment. So if you are in a situation where you have to use a template, well then we um, ask you to use that template and then in the rationale section, which is the 4B part of the outline assignment, you you know point to the justification for using that template and so on and so forth. So um, the the template uh, or the sorry the course outline that you're creating um, is is really going to be unique to your circumstances, and uh, it might just be a brochure. It, it could be a one-page brochure if you're putting on a workshop for um, your intended audience. So again, it really depends on what you're doing. The key thing is that you uh, justify it. Um, within the course readings, we have a list of uh, items within the, the assignment that you do need to include, so make sure you take a look at the course reading and identify those key components. Um, there's you know, they're, they're key, key bits of information that is going to be really important to uh, your learner. Uh, like uh, the other assignments, we've got a uh, syllabus for both Part A and Part B. Take a look at the syllabus, get a good understanding of what the expectations are and how you will be graded. Uh, and then with the uh, 4B part of the assignment, your rationale. Um, again, you've got to provide the reasons why you've chosen an outline or a brochure or a booklet or used an institutional template. So you justify that. You also provide the reasons for your choices related to what you've included in the outline, you know, the format, activities, schedule, assessment, evaluation activities, whatever the case may be. So again, please refer to the uh, reading uh, in this section to identify the key things that you should really be including um, in your course outline and that you do need to include in this assignment. Um, both parts of the assignment are due at the end of week nine. Um, and uh, once again, if you've got any issues or questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me uh, for assistance and uh, arrange a time when we can chat and I can help you out.